النجاح العظيم بيأسرنا بيخلينا مبهورين بالبريق تبعه ومثل حركة الفراش نحو النور بنتبعه بعيوننا من دون ما نوعى لأي شيء حواليه ولكن شو اللي ممكن يحررنا من أسر الانبهار هاد؟ سبايدر مان؟ لا باتمان؟ ولا باتمان يا يحيى <تصفيق> أكيد لا خلينا نحكي جد التحرر من الأسر يكمن في معرفة ما وراء النجاح من كفاح وسعي ليتحول القيد إلى إلهام وتقدير وانطلاق فالتفاصيل سواء الحلوة أو الصعبة لا يدركها الكثير لأنه معظمنا ما بيشوف إلا نتائج ومن هون كانت فكرة فايتوك لهي السنة شباب مبدعين نجاحاتهم تحدثت عنهم وهم معنا اليوم ليتحدثوا عنها وعن مسيراتهم أول ضيفة معنا دكتورة مبتكرة كانت من ألمع المشاركين في البرنامج العلمي الأول على مستوى العالم العربي نجوم العلوم لعام 2018 بابتكار علميا يقوم بالكشف المبكر عن مرض الشلل الارتعاشي ومرت بمراحل عديدة لتحويل الابتكار إلى حقيقة الدكتورة نور مجبور Hello, hi, good afternoon, everyone. I know today I'm supposed to give a talk to inspire you all, but I guess the truth is that I am really inspired by the audience. I'm even more inspired to see that there are still people here. It's almost 7 in the evening. So I know most of the talks were focused on taking care of the youth. In my research, I am more focused on bringing dignity to elderly people who are living with devastating neurodegenerative diseases. So before I speak about my innovation, please allow me to tell you how I have spent the last seven years of my research career. In the past seven years, my research ultimate goal was to find a way that can provide an early diagnosis for Parkinson's disease. So I have mainly focused on biomarkers, disease, uh, biomarkers discovery for Parkinson's disease and other age-related disorders. I have always leaned towards diagnostics in research. Diagnostics is the power of knowing, and it is the right place for the curious minds. Diagnosis always precede treatment, and the earlier we know today, the better we can do tomorrow. However, the reason behind choosing Parkinson's disease is more personal. I have seen my loved ones struggling with Parkinson's disease on a daily basis. Living with Parkinson's disease is fighting a battle every single day of your life. Because you get imprisoned in your own body. You lose control over your own body. I have seen my grandma, that strong, vibrant woman who has always nourished my dreams, Losing her ability to walk, and then to talk, and then even to swallow, and finally to breathe. I have seen my aunt also struggling with Parkinson's disease. She has become more and more distant. She was skipping, sorry. Uh, switch to Arabic. Um, I don't know how comfortable I will be speaking Arabic. Is it fine? If, is it a problem if I speak in English? They are all well-educated audience. So. <laughs> um, my grandma was a different case. She was uh, becoming more distant. She was avoiding the uh, family occasions. And I did not realize then that she was ashamed of her own disease, that she did not want to be seen in public because of the, what she perceived as shameful symptoms to be seen, such as the tremor that she ha was like she was struggling with. Parkinson's disease does not only drain you physically, but also emotionally and socially. Parkinson's disease is not only a problem for the patient, but also for the family members, for the caregivers, for the healthcare system, and thus for the whole society. But then when I started to understand what research can bring for the future, 
I started to become more hopeful that perhaps others will not have to go through the pain that my family has endured. And that's how CABI was born. So CABI is a diagnostic method that uses blood sample from subjects who have Parkinson's disease or at risk of developing the disease and can help provide an early detection prior to the manifestation of the clinical symptoms. It's very difficult to see a loved one struggling with disease and to know that at one point you might have to go through the same suffering. CABI is when research joins passion in the quest for breakthrough for biomarkers discovery for Parkinson's disease. I truly believe that my innovation would bring us a step closer to the Eureka's moment for Parkinson's disease, and it will be a giant leap for patients who are living with Parkinson's disease. I'm also fully aware that my dream still has too many challenges to overcome and many bridges to cross, but I hope that with my innovation, I will be able to put the first step on the ladder for the first biotech company in the region. I also hope that my journey in Stars of Science would inspire women in STEM fields to pursue their passion in this field and to provide the next generation solutions. Reflecting on my experience in Stars of Science, it was a um, change lighting experience, I have to say. It helped me to appreciate how important it is to be in the right environment. An environment that is nourishing, supporting, and highly competitive, such as the stars of science. I have also came to learn how important it is to hold into the beginner's mind. It is amazing today how much we can learn if we maintain an open attitude, if we stay eager for science, and if we stay free of preconceptions. I think we all have a dream today. And considering where I started from my dream and where I have reached so far, I think only one thing I came to, to appreciate, and, and hopefully that's what I would try to deliver, that it does not really matter where you start at, as long as you keep moving forward. Thank you very much.